Hello, I'm DJ Story, and today I'm going to show you how to build an effect rack that will um, change the frequency on two different levels. It'll do a high pass filter to the high frequencies and a low pass filter to the lower frequencies. So here's what it sounds like on an amen break. <laughs> See how it cuts off the lower frequencies and the higher frequencies? See so here like some super low sub bass. Then you hear the higher. Creates a nice effect. So here's how you build it. I'm just gonna start from scratch. I'm gonna delete that. So I'm gonna use an auto filter and an EQ3. Now, it was brought to my attention that some people think the EQ3 can kind of color the sound a little bit, so you can also use uh, multiband dynamics if you like. And uh, I just use the EQ3 to keep it more lightweight for my DJ sets, so I don't get too much going on and overload my computer. But uh, you can easily do the same thing, just enabling and disabling the frequencies using the multiband dynamics. But um, for this tutorial I'm just going to use the EQ3 and so we're going to group it like so. Press Command G or Control G on the PC. Now I'm going to duplicate the chain. See I brought out the chain selector and I'm going to click on the chain and press Command D which will duplicate it and I'll call well, you can name these. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and not name them. Um, but I'm going to right click on or control click on the auto filter frequency and map it to the macro one. And I'm going to do that for the other chain as well. Just click on the frequency and map to the same knob. And then you go to map mode and you come up here to the uh, low pass filter, whichever one it is, and switch the frequencies around. So, let's see if I got that right. Um, we're going to disable the mid and high on the lower chain and just disable the low on the higher chain. And we're going to switch the higher chain to a high pass filter using that curve. So now when I turn the knob up, it's freak, freaking up. It's going, the frequency is moving up on the high pass. And then like on the low pass, when I move it up, it's, it's cutting it down. So when you move them in unison, it's doing both at the same time. But to the selector frequencies, the mids and the highs and the lows. So again, here's what it sounds like. All right, I hope you learned something valuable, and uh, please check out my website, intuitivebeats.com, for more tutorials and articles and things like that, and uh, check out my music at djstory.bandcamp.com. All right, have a good one.